Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel. Uh, today I am working on the Pond Journal. Pond Life is what it's called and uh, I think everybody has probably seen uh, the digital kit and so forth but it's these colors and frogs and stuff like that. So um, yesterday I was watching um, a video that was uh, Carrie the crafter and he was doing making some tags uh, he was doing a pocket and other things but the part that caught my eye was the how he um made tags it, with book pages and so forth so i'm going to show you how to do that first and i'm using a piece of uh coffee dyed paper for my background uh you don't have to you can add your paper later if you want but i might as well just do it in one shot okay so here's a, a book page that I'm gonna put on here and all we have to do is glue it down um, maybe I'll just just glue it I don't know if this is gonna because you have to glue oops I don't have my lights on hold on one second It's one of those lights you have to hold and press it until it comes on. So, you want to get as much as you can get on here because you don't know where you're going to be cutting because we're going to make tags. But I'm not going to worry about my board here. I'm just going to uh, wipe it off. like the main piece to start okay and then we're going to take a piece of paper here and cover it and then try to get all your bubbles and things out like if you have a big glump of glue spread it out you want it to dry evenly Okay, so now I'm going to take, I don't know if I need to, let me just get my, um, whoops, plain ruler. All right, and then we'll put one on this side. Almost did that too too short. Um, and you can go back in and glue um, this, but we can do that. We'll just do this little bit here. You know, after you cut them, you can go back and do a little touch-up with the uh, art glitter glue. All right, so now we're going to put another page on. Uh, let me see. I don't want to uh, cut there and it be a weird line there, but everybody's paper is going to be different, so I don't worry about it. And then there's going to be stuff on top of the tag, so you won't even see it. Yeah, I just happened upon his video yesterday. Um, I don't have time to watch everybody's videos but if some if you know it just pops on and if there's not a lot of my regulars doing a video then I watch somebody else okay and this one I'm going to use this side because that one doesn't have that much writing at the bottom 
This is a German, um, I don't know if it's English book and to teach German, German or German book to teach English. <laughs> I think I got it in an antique store and it paid a lot more than I should have, but live and learn, right? When we first start journaling, oh, we go out and we buy all kinds of books and vintage stuff. And there's just, you know, you forget to use this stuff. I'm going to try that in my next, uh, when I get these two journals done, the map book and the pond, I think I'm going to do something a little bit more, you know, uh, freeform, generic. Okay, so that is, how did I put one? Okay, I put three layers. That's that's what he did, three. All right, so now this is just going to have to sit and dry. And once it dries, it'll get firmer. You know, it won't be so pliable. Okay? Well, so I have one ready um, to go. And... I don't need that. I don't need these. Yeah, I thought I'd kind of like have it ready so we can play rather than glue things together. All right. And I'm not sure how this is going to work out either. Um, I want my tags to be like six and a half. So I'm hoping I can cut this down straight. Okay, I'm going to cut my tags the width first. Then I'll straighten them up because this isn't going to fit in there. But I need to get it straight in the first place. So... Oh, you know what I used for my inside part? Because I didn't want to use all the book pages. I took um, a bank statement. You know how you get your bank statements? And they're like this 14-inch long piece of paper. And there's like two pages or three in a statement. And I just glued them back to back. And gave me two pieces of paper. You know, for the inside of this. Nobody can read it. Okay, so now I am going to, I was trying to think, what did I use? I think I want them, do I want three and a half? Hmm. Or three. I think I'll do three. Because then if I do a three and a half inch pocket, they should fit. three. I don't think I glued these pages on straight. Maybe that's a key factor there. It may not even show because it's going to be covered all this book page. Well, that's good. I got what I get four out of that. And a belly band. <laughs> okay, so now let me cut these tops. Can you guys all see? I hope. I hope everybody's doing well. Okay, uh, that's a new blade too, but it's the page. Okay, so I think I want it six and a half. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, let me cut. I 
I don't think I can make that straight. <laughs> They don't have to be exactly six and a half or whatever. So if you have something weird, it doesn't look that crooked now. Still crooked, but not that crooked. So I hope all of you didn't see this on, on Carrie's channel but if you did you know we all do things different we don't make them the same the initial part here is you know building up the card is the same but both of my kits that I have is um, the pond kit and I don't need any of those it doesn't have very many pocket I mean tags so I thought I would just go ahead all right we've got four so I'm thinking do we want um, do I want a real tag or do I just want it rounded um, I think I'll do one rounded at the top. And this is where you'll see if your paper is not glued properly. You know, you can look and see if it's going to come up like that one there. So we're just going to put a little our glitter glue in that. Okay. And then this one, let's just do a regular tag shape. I don't like my tags to be, oops, like, um, like this side here. If I did that side, then it makes it kind of real pointy and I don't like it that way. Pointy. Make sure you line up your edges because the tags won't come out the same on both sides. Okay. And let's do... Where's that punch? That's, let's do this punch. You know what? I probably should have done this second. This one I'm not going to do. Uh, or let's see um let's make two of them like tags I guess that I can do ahead but I don't want to punch the holes yet because I want to go through any other papers we put on top and I want to sew around them if I if I choose to do that so all right. Now on this one, I put some brown um, packing paper on the back, and then I did some coffee dyed that I had here on the back of this one. But see how they're pretty strong. Pretty strong. Okay, so let's do something. All right, so I want some blue in this. To go with um, our digitals, which let's just just gonna grab out something that has. Okay, so that one has got um, greens and. And it's got blue and there's kind of like different colors of blue so I'm just gonna use this memento 
and I am going to stamp. German paper, that would be a waste. I'm really not too concerned about how the stamping goes because um, because my, I don't know, something's not level. Okay, I have these little checkerboards. I pulled out these, I forget I even have these things. So let's let's do this down the side. Okay. Put a little blue on this side. I want to save that for the green leaf. I think I'm um where'd you go? I think I'm doing okay. Uh by doing this first. I don't even have any, what do you call it? Okay, I gotta find out which is the right side up. I just wanna get some of this in the background. some of this wheat sort of just got to be I look for my stamping plate too and I can find it I'm gonna I can't do it yeah it's fine okay so let's see and I want to save some of these for green so let's just do another texture one or something So now we have a little blue on all of them. Didn't help much. And where is my? Oh, there it is. Okay. So now let's add some green. Glue I mean the art glitter. <laughs> well, we had a little rainstorm a little while ago, but it's kind of died off now. We've had a lot of rain lately, and we had temperatures that were um, way over the norm. Okay, let's get um, leaves, green leaves. Yeah, I think 
That's the top. Huh. Yep. Okay. I've had these inks since day one. I'm surprised they're not totally dried out. Didn't show very much. Maybe this paper is a little dark. Do mushrooms go with uh, pond? I think so. I haven't been able to use these stamps yet. Is there anybody out there that has a pond? I don't like that stamp. Um, I know Tanya has one. Let's just put some more, let's put script on this one. By the time I get done with all this, this is like in a different language, so French or something, and how do you know if it's upside down or not? Okay. Um, and then, how about the texture one again in green? Let me get a thing to clean that off because it's not coming off. This must be a Stampin' Up! Stampin' Up! 2002. Mm. Well, I guess I'll just do it here. I don't think the green's going to show much anyway. All right, so there's some stuff. Now, I don't know what... Um, I was thinking of putting some of these stamps on, but I'm... I'm wondering if I should do this after I cover these. Um, well, let's just put an A to start. I'm going to do it in the blue. The green doesn't show very well. Actually, I was probably going to do this in black. Let me get my black. This is Tim Holtz and it doesn't stick. I don't think these are going to show up very good. Yeah, I don't, I always pull them out and I always don't like them. Back you go. I need to get some more alphabet stamps. Okay. That's good. I'll just um, get numbers out of my number book. Now I'm scared because I don't know how it's going to work out. All right. 
move a few things so we're not stamps. I'll just set these aside. It's putting them all away. This the I don't like to do that. Okay. All right. So the other day I showed you guys how I I um waxed I couldn't think of the word I waxed the paper so that it's um you can see through it okay and so I did this piece I did this piece so I could use some of these items on here and I did this little scrap piece because I didn't know what I need I did this fish and this bird over here Okay, so they're all transparent. I don't know if you can see through that or not, but yeah, see the fish? Okay. So, and also I did a piece of tissue paper. And the leftovers, the leftover wax that was on the parchment paper, I just did half of the doily. And I did... A couple um, just ephemera that was hanging around there and then uh, this is just a piece of paper that was ripped off and yeah so I feel like these are gonna work good on our on the top of these I hope all right so let's put I think I want to put this is going to be the difficult part for me. Just put a piece up there of that. And then I want each one to have its own vocal point. So I'll have to figure out. Oops. I get the backgrounds on. So let's do that. Let's do one here. edge so I can trim it. Okay, and then hmm. I'm still filming. The other day my camera just would go black on me. I never had that happen before. Okay. <clears throat> now I could do a little background. Um, I'm pretty sure I want this fish as a vocal, but he may have to go this way.
getting these kind of ahead of time so I can yeah see I don't want to cut him off so he's gonna have to go up and down okay I don't want this bird I'm not a very good terror. So I think that one could go right along the edge, like that. And the fish, and maybe that. Could add a little doily there. I like this um, nature. This oh, we already I don't want to cover that. Duh. Let's do it over here then. That kind of works there. Okay. I need a, I do have these. I think that the um, stamping will show up after I glue them down, I hope. If not, you know, it was just part of the background. Uh, should I use these? I really kind of wanted... This frog. I wonder how alcohol ink would work on these. I never use my alcohol ink. I think a lot of them are dried up. I remember they were so expensive. The little pens, alcohol ink pens. Okay. So those That's good. I can't write on this, so um, all right. So then I'm gonna put these on, and then I'm gonna get some labels out or some other pieces of, of ephemera to go in with this. should do some of that first. I don't have a lot of ephemera for this kit either. A lot of little images, I mean. in regular paper. No, they're all cardstock. I printed them by accident. Alright, so let's just do tadpole there. And these remind me, well they are, those are cattails, but that one stamp, this one, it's not a cattail, but it reminds me of them. 
Okay, lily pads. I could go with a little bit bigger words. If I like that doily or not. Um, think that. Okay. Um, I need something here. I wonder if I could stamp on this. I don't want to go all the way to the edge. What color to stamp it? I feel like I've already got the blue, so all right, let's try it. Let's do blue. Mm. black or brown. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a touch of blue down here. didn't stamp dark dark but I like that because it just gives you something there huh especially with that little touch of blue okay so now <clears throat> I feel like I have too much of an open space there so I'm gonna put some of these doing it like Rachel. Oh, I wanted the butterfly to show. So, I'm sure it all look work out great in the end. Okay, so now I'm gonna glue them down. Not 
sure if something's missing there, but let's just get some of this glue down. How much time have I spent? Oh, 40 minutes already. Jeez. And I haven't been talking. <laughs> you know, I haven't been saying, oh, my, about my family or any of that stuff. It's going to go up there. I can't even see that. Um, the stamps for the blue. Oh well. That's what I was afraid of. I was afraid that um, probably should have stamped it after. I hope I get it all laid out and then I can't remember where I laid it where I wanted it I just love that blue um, page that I um, printed out um, I can't remember now of course who it was but fish. I wish she had put more fish in her, her kit. Not that much to cut straight, but I can I didn't do it straight. All right, I'm afraid this is gonna take too long. Okay, that one's done. This one is done to that point, but I have to add some more stuff. Oh, I was gonna add fishes on here. Good 
play sport or not. But... Okay. So if I go too long, you guys, I can just, you know, I want to get it finished. It's so much better to take pictures of things when they're done. And um, so if I go along on this, you can always, you know, watch it at, the rest of it at a later time. That's the good thing about, you know, YouTube videos and stuff. I mean, I never can hardly watch anybody the whole 50 or 60 minutes, but I pause it and come back to it. I think I have that here somewhere. Did I? <laughs> now I forgot. I know I wanted some of that blue to keep showing. One here, a new blue page. So I thought this was an interesting, I like the fact that I can, oh, that's the other thing too. I don't know if you're all still here or not, but if you are, um, that uh, if you want me to, I can do that on camera, The how I waxed this. I just painted it on from my little candle melt thing. Wish there was a way not to have sticky fingers. Maybe I should get like a wet sponge and then dip them in the, dip my fingers in the wet sponge. Never tried that. I used to have a wet towel next to me and I never remembered to, to get it. All right, so I think let's do it about right there. rooster I'm telling you it just it's it's just no fun to listen to it all day long I mean I don't know those people they're not bothered by it I don't know where am I going to put this right here Okay, that one's glued on, and I got this one. time is going to change. I think it's next week. I can't wait. Although, I like going to bed early. <laughs> Whoa! Um, I guess I'll... Hold on, let me re-align.
feel like I wasted all that time stamping. I'm going to have to watch his video again. Because I know he stamped on his tags. I guess it's my comprehension doesn't last very long. Well, I know it doesn't, but I'm focusing. <clears throat> Yesterday I canned, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I lost my voice there. I canned a squash, acorn squash. I was so proud of myself. I got it. It wasn't hard at all. Um, I only got I got five pints, and basically that's all that fits in my pan at this point. I don't have one of those big um, big uh, boiling pots. I just have a big one, but it's not. Something's missing. What? I feel like I put this up here, and I should have put it here. I should have put it up like over here somewhere. Yeah, that's better. Okay, I'm gonna wipe my hands off again. This book page is old, old, uh, like 50s old, somewhere around there. But it had a real nice color to it. But I think it's a children's book. Maybe not children, but um, young, like young boys. Book. Okay. Alright, so we've got that. And... I didn't have a little, this one doesn't have these little things, so what can I put in, um, gosh, I don't want to use these for everything, hmm, oh, I want another little image of some sort, what? All right, I'm going to get some, well, I think the first thing I'm going to do is cut away this Oops. green scissors. Because then I can actually see what's what it looks like. I love that color of that bird. I do have some turquoise um, tissue. I don't think it needs it. Okay. Okay, so 
Let me get my labels out. book here. Let's see. Okay, so that's really too big. Okay, I don't need big labels. I need little ones. Um, about I don't think black ones would work I guess that's okay up there there, but do I want that one? You know, it probably just doesn't matter. Just do it. Right? Because if you think about it enough, you'll never get it done. Okay. I don't want to cover the flower in that one. Green one would be good. <laughs> oh, this one definitely needs something in this one here. Um, Trying to see if I can get something in this area that's it just doesn't fit there. Like in here. I think I need a circle. Let me. sure there's nothing else in here that I can see. I have so many labels. I see a circle would, would work there. But
I don't think any of these blue ones, I could go like half a page. Hmm. Oh, let's see, I could do up here. Okay. And I want to do this all over again for my other journal. I don't know, this is very time consuming. Okay, where was this? Where was it? Was it right here? I think I had it in a set of three. This one, This one. Probably have better circles in my little circle jar box thing, but. Trying to think how I'm going to. This one's going to stay a circle. It's not going to have a tab. I mean, just circle edges. I really like that bird. I don't really want to cover the bird. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. And I have to have odd numbers. I usually don't do this much on a on a tag, but
gosh, look at this brush. Oh, I guess it's the glue on the hand. The ink is sticking to it. Okay, now it's just going to be up here. I think this is the one I want to punch the elongated piece. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The tadpole's going a little crooked. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I guess the doily's seven. And it seems that the glue stick is sticking to these wax papers, but I took as much wax off as I could. I I put the wax on, I melted it to, it was already melted, but I had to remelt because it dried so fast. And um, it's like my ink got really dark, I don't know what happened. I think I put some water in it because it was not showing up very well. How much time did I spend? 16 minutes or more. But I, this, I, I had fun doing this. It just kind of gave me a whole new, I don't know, perspective on decorating tags and so forth. You know, you, you get so used to the kit stuff. Or I do. I have been lately. Not always. I used to always do my own tags and stuff. Oh yeah, these are really nice and sturdy, which is what I, I like because when I want to go to put them in a pocket and you have to struggle to get them in the pocket. I know you're probably not even watching now. You probably tuned it off, but... I want to have another uh, drawing again this month and I think I'm just going to take the names of every for every person who comments on all my videos for this month and I, I what I will do is just put your entry in you know just put it one time or maybe I can do it more times. I don't know. Same people. Okay, so I did like this little butterfly, but I guess I'll just I'll wait and find it a home somewhere else. Okay. Okay, so now um, I want to sew around these. So I'm going to pause. I know I've already been an hour, but I'm going to finish these. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm back. So I sewed all around these, 
And these two I put um, eyelets at the top. This one I just put a little charm. I tied it on. I could not get that ball pen uh, to hang straight. So I'm thinking I would rather tie them on <laughs> than to deal with that. But anyway, I think that looks cute. And then this one I'm going to punch this type of a hole. So right about, looks like about center right there. Okay, and then we're going to string some um, sorry silk in this one. Let me get my little uh, scoring tool that helps me get that through. Okay, and this was um, given to me by Patty. So I think I'm just going to staple it right there. And rusty staples that I rusted Tim Holtz staples. Okay, so there's that. And then I want to put one in these. Let's see, kind of want more blue. Um, They're all so pretty, I don't know. I guess that one would be good. It's kind of a pond blue. Okay. And I think I'm just gonna tie this at the top, just like this. I kind of like that look when it's probably should cut a little bit shorter. Okay, so that's that one. And this one is the charm, and this one is another tag. So let's see, this green is kind of nice here. that one that way. All right, so there we are. We've got um, these finished. It took an hour, a little over an hour, but I mean, I, they're really going to add a lot to the, the journal, I think. All right, so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.